Hello, and welcome to mini episode 9 of Wrestle Erotica, the podcast that combines wrestling and erotica. In this mini episode, we have one story to share with you. In this story, Ryback continues what he started with one of the backstage trainers in his hotel room. Without further ado, let's get to the story. This story is entitled Later That Night and was written by Boston246. What is one where to a place where you're going to lose your clothes the second you get there? I settled on a sports bra in loose sweatpants. At 7.55, I peeked out into the hallway and didn't see anyone. I put my keycard in my pocket, closed my hotel room door, and ran to the stairwell. I walked up the two flights to the seventh floor. 7.58 I peeked out and saw Stephen Ferrelli walking in my direction with Stu Bennett. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Where are you off to? Stu asked with a smirk. Stephen also had a big grin on his face. Just taking a stroll, I replied. I call bullshit, Stephen said in the accent I could listen to for hours. You do realize that everyone could hear you earlier. Jealous? I said. With a smile as I passed them, Stu's roaring laughter carried me down the hallway. The door to 702 was slightly ajar. I knocked and opened the door. Hello, I called. You're late. I got stopped. Ryan came out of the bathroom wearing basketball shorts. Doesn't matter. I raised an eyebrow at him as I walked into the room. Ryan approached me and spun me around. I braced my hands on the dresser, and before I could wonder what he was doing, He spanked me. What was that for? Punishment. His hand began to rub my ass, easing my pain. My breathing got shallow as he continued to rub. He spanked me again. I felt the vibration throughout my body and let out a moan. Again? I whispered. I could hear his grin. Your wish is my command. He pulled my pants down enough so my bottom wasn't covered. His hands went to my sides, pulling me back against his crotch. Ryan was already hard. He began to thrust gently against me, and my knees went to jelly. I should take you right here. Okay. I moaned, trying to keep my legs from giving out. He spanked me again, harder than the previous two times. Show some restraint, woman. I turned to face him. It's hard, I said pouting, just like this. I fingered his cock lightly through his shorts. It was his turn to moan. I got down on my knees in front of him and put my hands under the waistband of his shorts, slowly pulling them down. His cock sprang out and I looked up to see Ryan watching me, barely breathing. Giving him a big smile, I took his cock in my mouth, keeping eye contact. His whole body would twitch when I would take him deep enough to touch the back of my throat. After a couple minutes, he exclaimed, Enough! And pulled me back up. I want to come in your warm, wet pussy. Not in your mouth. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. He stepped out of his shorts and got rid of my bra and pants. No underwear? Mmm, good girl. He moved us onto the bed. I'm a quick learner, I said, with my head on the pillow. He dipped his head down and our lips met. I let out a moan against his mouth as he worked his knee between my legs, pushing them apart. He brushed his cock against my entrance, and I dug my nails into his biceps. You ready? He said, peering down at me. I nodded. With one thrust, he entered my body and paused deep within me. I looked up at him, seeing the intent look on his face. I smiled up at him, and he gave me a wolf-like grin. starting to thrust slowly. I did not come here for you to be gentle. On your back. Now. He rolled us over so I was on top. Ryan put his hands behind his head and said, Go ahead. I'm all yours. I placed the pad of my fingers in my mouth and licked them. I began to play with my nipples, rubbing and pinching them. Knowing Ryan was watching my every move turned me on even more. I angled my body slightly forward, so I could rub my clit against his pelvic bone. I must have done something right, because Ryan gasped and grabbed my hips, halting my movement. 
I'm going to finish before you if you keep that up. He took my hands in his and bucked his hips. I shuddered as each bucking movement pushed him deeper and deeper in me. He released my hands and moved me off of him. I cried out in frustration. On your hands and knees! He was using his in-ring voice. He turned me and crawled over so he was behind me. Hands on my hips. He arched me up and punched back into me, making me scream out. Oh. Ryan pulled me up, bringing one arm around so he could play with my nipple and breast, and the other hand headed south to rub my clit. My head fell back against his shoulder at all the new sensations I was feeling. Ryan turned his head, his lips next to my ear. I want you. I want you to scream my name all night, waking everyone on this floor. With that, he bit down on my neck and I came, screaming his name. He came right after me, clutching me close to him. He helped me lay down on the bed, my body feeling like jelly. He lay down next to me, and I curled up against him. We were quiet for a while. You really want me to stay the night? I asked quietly. You don't want to do that again? He asked, a slight smile gracing his face. That was amazing! Of course I want to do that again. Then you're staying. I leaned in with a lazy smile and gave him a peck on the lips. Then I need a shower. Want to wash my back? I got out of bed and headed for the bathroom, Ryan hot on my heels. I was right. Tonight was turning out to be fantastic. The end.